Reba McIntyre, one of music's biggest names and country's all-American sweetheart who can do no wrong. But do you know she was once called a cheater and a homewrecker and blamed for ruining two marriages? And given her wholesome image, you might be surprised when you hear how tragic and abusive her first marriage was. No wonder Reba doesn't want to talk about it. This is the strange sex life of Reba McIntyre. Fun will be had or your money back. Reba married her first husband in 1976. She called him the first great love of her life. But how they hooked up involved quite a bit of scandal. And how they broke up involved an even bigger scandal. His name was Charlie Battles, a world champion steer wrestler who demanded a lot of respect in rodeo circles. In fact, he had been world champion three times in a row. Reba thought he was ruggedly handsome and was impressed by his manly bravado. He was also 10 years older than her. Reba was just a shy girl of sweet 16 when she first laid eyes on him at a rodeo, although, according to her, she wasn't drawn to him romantically. Not yet, anyway. Actually, she wanted to hook him up with her sister, Alice, but dropped the idea like a hot potato when she found out Charlie was married with two children. But as time went on, Reba and Charlie saw more and more of each other in the rodeo circuit. Reba herself was a competing barrel racer, and after winning first place in a Texas competition in 1974, Reba felt like celebrating. Now 19 and not so shy anymore, Reba celebrated her victory at a bar with lots of beer and booze. Charlie was there too, and the two had a real good time. But things got even better when, at one stage, he pulled her onto his lap, and one thing led to another. Knowing that he was married, Reba and Charlie shared a passionate kiss. Reba knew that what she was doing was wrong. She blamed it on the excitement of the rodeo, the music, and the mood, and of course, the beer. Still, she flat out admitted, it was impulsive, but kissing Charlie felt like the right thing to do at the time. Shortly after, Charlie dumped his wife. Reba tried to tell herself that he didn't do it for her. She didn't want to be a man stealer, but deep down she knew that Charlie left his wife for her. I was shocked, flabbergasted, astonished. Reba said. However flabbergasted she was, her shock and astonishment didn't stop her from taking things to the next level with Charlie. On the contrary, the two tied the knot in 1976 when she was 21 and he was 31. All the things that made Reba fall in love with her man would also be the things that made her fear him, and their marriage would end in disaster. Shortly after the two got married, Reba lost her grandfather. She was devastated, but Charlie was there to pick up the pieces and to comfort him. This was just one of the many signs of how protective he was over Reba. Even before they got married, Reba was impressed by how Charlie was willing to fight for her. When they just started dating, Reba was caught in a love triangle and couldn't decide between Charlie and another guy named Mark Tompkins. Charlie confronted Mark head on. On another occasion, Charlie threw one of Reba's ex-boyfriends, good old Bobby Shillings, through a double-plated window. Reba and Charlie were at a dance one night when Bobby showed up with his own girlfriend. Bobby shot Reba a foul look and flipped her the middle finger. Charlie could see his girl was upset and demanded to know why. At first, Reba didn't want to say anything, but Charlie kept pushing. He stormed back into the dance to sort Bobby out, but they had already left. Unfortunately for poor old Bobby, Reba and Charlie were staying at the same hotel. Without a word, Charlie just went for Bobby like a little bulldog and threw him through a double plate glass window. These should probably all have been major red flags for Reba, but if anything, I was a little shocked and embarrassed by Charlie's actions, but kind of impressed too. No one had ever fought for me before. It seemed Charlie had a fighting spirit all right, and Reba would come to learn that very well throughout their 11 years of marriage. Charlie could apparently also get quite mean and cold with Reba. She was in her early 20s and still trying to figure out the ropes of how to be a good little wife. On top of that, she was suddenly also a stepmother to Charlie's two sons. That's a lot for a young woman to deal with. The children were just one of the many factors that drove a wedge between Reba and Charlie. For instance, there was one day when Charlie and the boys headed out to feed the cattle. This was something that the couple always did together. So needless to say, Reba wanted to join them. But Charlie shut her out and told her she couldn't. Instead of nicely telling Reba he wanted some alone time to bond with his sons, he harshly told her that there was no room for her. As Reba steadily rose to fame, Charlie's career steadily declined and he became more and more jealous of his wife's success. This was just another wedge in their marriage, and the tension between them grew ever more contentious. Remember how Reba fell in love with Charlie's protective nature? Well, she was now discovering that his protectiveness over her was more domineering and controlling than it was caring. In an effort to patch up the widening cracks, 
Reba hired Charlie to help manage the band. Big mistake. He could not get along with the band, and it all just made for a really toxic environment. At one point, he even called Reba a wench in front of the other band members. When Reba and the band were still playing honky-tonk bars, her health was severely suffering. The smoke-filled bars were destroying her sinuses, which were constantly inflamed and infected, and her throat was also taking a beating. Worried about her health, she told her husband that she was done playing bars. Since he was in charge of her bookings and schedules, she told him not to book any more honky-tonk venues. As much as she loved the crowds and the crowds loved her, Reba had to protect her health and her voice. Instead of her husband supporting her, it broke into a big fight. You've just ruined your career, he told her. But Reba proved him wrong, and when her career was really starting to speed up, Charlie asked her to slow down. She finally relieved her husband of his manager duties and roped in the help of the band's guitarist, Narvel Blackstock, who had joined the band years earlier in 1980. Narvel and Reba were now working closely together, and as a result, they started spending more and more time with each other. Eventually, they developed intense feelings for one another. She could rely and depend on Narvel, which she couldn't do with her husband anymore. But here's where it gets messy. Reba wasn't the only one who was married. Narvel had a wife and two kids. However, both Reba and Narvel's marriages were falling apart around the same time. Things between Reba and Charlie reached a final boiling point when he stole money from her purse. It escalated into a massive argument, and for the first time in their marriage, she was genuinely terrified. One thing led to another, and for the first time in our life together, I thought Charlie was going to hit me as he reared back with his shaving kit in his hand. Ironically, it was the very same shaving kit that Reba had bought for him as a present. Reba finally realized at that moment that it was time to stand up for herself and to escape. I wasn't the little girl anymore, taking orders and doing what he said. In hindsight, Reba saw the red flags right from the start. Remember that guy Mark Tompkins? The guy who almost stole Reba's heart, but then Charlie confronted him head on? Well, in her memoir, Reba wrote, if I'd had any backbone at all, my relationship with Charlie would have ended right then and there. Reba and Charlie finally divorced in 1987, and not long after that, Narvel divorced his wife. And then the year after that, Reba and Narvel got married. From the outside, it looked like this was the second time that a married man dumped his wife to be with Reba. Tabloids ran with the story and called her a cheater and a homewrecker. Even fans blasted her. The tabloid fodder was made all the more believable after Narvel's ex allegedly made some scathing comments about Reba. And the same thing happened with Charlie's ex-wife, the one he left to be with Reba. She also allegedly made some bitter comments about Reba, which got published in some gossip magazine. In fact, Charlie's first wife, Sherry, held a grudge against Reba for 18 years. That's longer than Charlie and Reba were together. So who knows? Maybe Reba wasn't as innocent as she wants us to believe, but she was young. And isn't it true what they say? All is fair in love and war? Sadly, Reba and Narvel's union was also not meant to last. After 26 years of marriage, the couple called it quits in 2015. Reba was heartbroken and admitted that she never wanted to break up. But Reba also admitted that right from the start, their marriage was always more business than fun. It was always business whether we were getting ready in the morning, pillow talk, whatever, but it was business. Reba and Narvel have one son together, Shelby, who was born in 1990. And how's this for impressive? Shelby is a professional race car driver. Reba and Narvel still remain good friends. In 2017, Reba started dating photographer Anthony Skeeter Lasuzo. By April 2018, it was still smooth sailing for the couple. Reba told People Magazine at the time that they were totally in love. I wouldn't put up with somebody for two years if I wasn't in love with them. Reba's words were barely cold when she and Skeeter broke up just the following month. Reba is now in a serious relationship with actor Rex Lynn. The two first met in 1991 when they both played in the Kenny Rogers movie, The Gambler Returns. Although they stayed friends and Reba did have some feelings for him, nothing ever came of it. But everything changed in 2020 when Rex invited Reba to dinner. They realized that they were actually a perfect fit. We both love the Western way of life, rodeo, cowboys. I always wanted to be a world champion barrel racer. He wanted to be a cowboy, team roper, but we weren't good at it. So he goes into acting, I'm into music. As for whether she'll ever get married again, Reba is not one to say, never say never. Did you know about Reba's tumultuous first marriage? And what do you think? 
Was she really a man-stealing homewrecker? If you enjoyed this video, there's a good chance you'll also enjoy the one showing on your screen right now. Click, enjoy, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. See you on the next one.